Hey guys, Hydro Ocelot here, and today we're going to be playing some Minecraft, modded Minecraft. Uh, today the mod I'm going to be showing off is ARS Magicka 2. It's uh, it's a mod which adds magic spells, spell, crea spell creation, and a few more mods. So uh, I'm going to do a quick introduction, a brief introduction into how to create spells and so on. Okay, first thing you want to um, find is this school of Ethereum. Uh, it's called Ethereum and you find in tools. Yeah, uh, not a great definition, but yeah, this thing glows in the dark. I'll try to show it to you if I can uh, set time to midnight. Okay, this thing glows in the dark, so it's easy to find at night. And yeah, so what you want to do is find one of these tools of liquid Ethereum and uh, take an item frame and place it next to it like like so then what you want to do is place a book in there and then all these particles all that magic goes into that book and you collect the book and what do you get you get an arcane compendium well what's an arcane complete compendium it's it's like a guide to ars magica it's it has spells, it shows you how to make spells, it, it shows you what your spells are going to need and yeah. So now what we're going to need is an oculus. So I already have an oculus here which I'm going to show. Uh, yeah, so in starting you've given three blue points and you can, uh, you can use it for defense. Oh no. Wow. I was a creeper. Uh, offense, defense, utility, talents, and def and affinity. So uh, I just had the projectile and I unlocked the force damage known. And let's see, fire. Okay, I'm gonna I unlock fire, and I think I'll unlock. Big. I don't think I have enough points here. Okay, I'm gonna unlock lightning. So now that you've got this, a few more things open up like these things. Since I already had an arcane compendium, all these are already present. But uh, these four, I think, are not present. So once you look into the Oculus, you find this. And okay, now let's move on to spell creation. Okay, so fine, we're back and. Uh, to build a crafting altar, I mean, to create spells, you're gonna need something like this, which is a crafting altar. So let's see how to build it. Uh, what you're gonna do is open up your arcane compendium. Fine, um, fine. I finally found the where the crafting altar is. It's right here in structures. So we can build any kind of crafting altar. Like there's many types. These are cornerstones, and these are the main stones. And um, yeah, so. What the, what's the difference between these things are that the effects are more. Let's start off building an altar. Since I uh, wait, let me just get rid of this creeper. Okay. So since I am in creative right now, let's build the fanciest one possible. Sunstone blocks and Let's build out of sunstone blocks and witchwood planks. So what you want to do is uh, let's get some witchwood planks first. And here we go. Okay. Uh, okay this way. So we want to do five by five. One two three. One two three four five five. Five by five, and since we're doing it out of sunstone, we put the sunstone in the middle uh, as shown in the arcane compendium. Let's see the first layer. So we put sunstone in sunstone block in the middle. Let's get some sunstone. Uh, okay. So take the sunstone block right over there, and 
and next layer will be we have to put two witchwood planks and uh, a magic wall. So now how can we get some magic wall? We could uh, and then get back to creative and which would blank yeah so we put a magic wall between these magic wall Magic wall between these. Uh, we want to put a lectern, I think. Let's see. Yeah, so in the second layer, we need only a lectern, and yeah, that's it. Oops. Oh, God. Lectern. So you can put this lectern wherever you want on either side, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go on to the second layer, it's the two magic wall, a lever, and we could plank, same thing. I already put the thing, I'm just gonna put a lever now. So let's put it here. I'm gonna put two more wicked planks, a magic wall, and so let's get ourselves a magic wall. Okay, I don't need that. And okay, now we're gonna put some witchwood stairs. Which would stairs? Okay, we're gonna have to run this orientation of this. Like that. And like that. That. And that. So after the next layer would be. We're gonna have to do which would stairs and decide some sort of block. Oops, so it looks like I replaced some stone blocks. Let's go with some, some stone blocks. Uh, so if we're at the four corners here, let's put the stairs. No, not that way. Oh god no. Why is this not working? Okay, there seems to be some glitch in the game, that's why I think it's not working. Okay, come on. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that because I don't see what I can do. So what we gotta do is now is put something called a crafting altar. Crafting altar. Yeah. This. In the middle. And and what we gotta do is oh, I think there's something missing here. The lever. Okay, we're gonna put a book here. Oops. Okay, there seems to be some glitch. That's why this crafting altar is not disappearing. But uh, in the ones which I've already finished here, you can see the crafting altar will disappear somewhat like this. And 
that shows that you properly done the structure and let's just kill this die skeleton die okay um, so then what you gotta do is get an inscription table now Description table. So we're gonna put down an inscription table here. As you can see, it also glows. So now we take a book and a feather, and book and quill. Sorry, and we place it here, and we drag the book and quill into this. And now that I'm in creative, I don't think I can. I have everything unlocked, so I'm gonna change my game mode and then we'll see how it goes. Game mode zero. Okay, so I have projectile touch and force and anti. So, what we're gonna do is drag this here, and you want this like so it's a projectile. So, when it hits something, what do you want it to do? So, I want it to do some damage, so we drag that here and some fire damage. And yeah, so I'm going to do some fire damage and some force damage. So now that we'll name it right here fire and force. Now that it's done, you can see it will tell you what, what are the materials you need. So now we want what you want to do. So what you want to do is take the inscripted spell and Place it here. Oh, well, okay. I'm just gonna change to peaceful. Yeah. So what you wanna do is you wanna go place it here, and uh, okay, there's already something placed here. Hang on. Mode one. You want to place it on the left down here, and you want to place this book here, and so it will tell you what what all do you need, what all materials you need to create the spell. Every spell starts with a blank rune and ends with a spell parchment. So the first thing you do is take a blank rune, blank rune, yeah. So you throw it in there, and now you can start. Making a spell, it will start. This the book will start showing you what you need next. It's asking for some Vintium dust, so let's get some Vintium dust. Vintium dust, and yeah. Then you're gonna need some an arrow. Arrow. Snowball. Snowball. A red rune. Okay. A red room, a sword, actually uh, an iron sword, a red room again, red room, flint and steel, ventium dust, and a spell parchment. So that's the end of the spell and after you finish the spell you're gonna find this kind of thing hanging here you go and collect it and when you right click it will ask you what kind of uh, icon you wanna keep for this I'm gonna keep that I'm gonna keep the same name so uh, I'm gonna just change the weather Now, whenever there's a mob close by, wait, let me just change it. Yeah. So, whenever there's a mob, so let's spawn in a mob like how. So, this thing, this spell is going to do, uh, this spell is going to do fire damage to a cow and, and a force damage. 
So I've already made a few spells here, which is a fire spell. I named it I don't know because I really didn't know what it did at starting. And uh, Corruptor's Honor, which is nothing but a damage spell with many types of damage. So uh, I'm gonna spawn in a few mobs and we'll see how it goes. Zombie. Okay, let's spawn in these big men. So it's time to destroy them. Like, I'm gonna use a fire spell a bit here. As you see, this fire spell does not do damage to the zombie pigmen, but uh, this spell does fire damage because. Uh, so there's different types of spells, and uh, some of them actually set fire to the ground, while some do fire damage, but they don't actually set fire to the ground. This just does different types of damage, but does not affect the ground anyway. And so that's it. And if you have any queries, let let me know in the comments below and uh, thank you subscribe share and see ya